this is T percents and ratios, and uh, I've set up here six little problems that I can go through with you. So, uh, first one, if a discount of 40% saves George $60, how much did he spend? Well, what I like to do is just set it up in ratios. So, basically, 60 is to 40%. That ratio must stay the same. Now, how much he spent is not 100%. He didn't spend 100%. He spent 60% because he had a 40% off discount. So he actually only spent 60%. So we just need to find out what number would correspond with that. So then all you do is you cross multiply. 60 times 0.6 equals 0.4x. Someone asked me earlier that um, why do I need to switch this out into a uh, 0.6 and you don't. You could actually leave that as 60 percent. You just gotta make sure that uh, these units whether it's a percentage or you know inches or feet or gallons they just have to match up. Uh, match up. So that way they cancel each other out. So, and you'll notice that uh, when I divide this negative four or point four over, that its units, if it were inches or pounds or whatnot, would would be knocked out by this point six. So they would cancel each other out. So, um, sixty times point six, and you divide it by point four. So you just divide that. 0.4 over, divide the point 0.4 over, and you realize that that will cancel out, and you'll get x equals 90 bucks. That's how much he spent. Good deal. Alright, uh, Jack paid $3,200 in taxes on a new car. How much did a car cost if sales tax is 9%? Well, we can just use the same same ratios, right? $3,200 is to, we'll do it in percentages, 9% equals X value of the car, and the car's value is 100%. All you do is you cross-multiply. 3,200 times, I'll just keep it in percents, 100% equals 9% times x. You divide that 9% over and solve for x. x will equal 35,555.56. So, expensive car. 45% of what number is 75. So we know that it's a number times 45% equals 75. You just divide that 0.45 over, just divide it on over, and what you get is n equals a simple 166. Point six seven. I know you don't have a calculator, but uh, well, you're going to get good at long division. So, uh, what percent of thirty six is twenty seven? Well, what percent of thirty six is twenty seven? That's the same thing as saying how many times does thirty six go into twenty seven? Twenty seven over thirty six. Well, if you just solve that out, you can, you'll notice that you can divide a 9 out by both sides, right? So that means 3 over 4, which we know that one, 0.75, which in percentage is 75%, because 0.75 equals 75%. Very good. 0.45 equals what percentage? Um,
basically what I like to point out here is, you know, 0.45, I mean, we could have done this in the last problem, but 0.45 over 1, just multiply the top and bottom by 100, and you get 45 over 100. Now, what does percent mean? 1% equals 1 over 100 per cent. Cent means 100. So per 100. What is this? 45%. 1.25. That's the same thing as 1.25 over 100, or over 1. Multiply the top and bottom by 100. You have 125 over 100. Per cent, per 100, we have 125%. Very simple. And, uh, well, I hope you found this useful, and I'll be seeing you later.